Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about how to spend diamonds wisely and efficiently in Haiti. So let's get started. I'm just going to start harvesting my wheat. So there we go. Let's see what we get. All right. So I think I'm not going to get anything, maybe. Yep. Oh, just got a bolt. Lucky. So I'm going to plant some more wheat. There we go. And I have asked help on my boat. So I got some lemon cake, which means that I have to advertise my roadside shop. As usual, I'm going to advertise the peanuts and I'm going to collect my peanuts from here as well. Let me have a look at the mastery. So I have collected about 50,000 over 74,000. I still have a lot to go which hopefully I'll be able to do soon. I'm going to collect my honeycombs there. Let's collect my animals now. We're just going to collect all of these. I'm right, just going to get started by the cows and just going to feed all the cows here. Going to collect my pigs and just going to feed them. All right, that's it. And I'm a sheep. Actually, the sheep look really... They're so naked. They honestly need to get clothes. When they're hungry, it's like they're not even wearing anything. It's it's funny, though. In a funny way. Not in a bad way, of course. Now I come to the goats, which give me very upset looks, which I don't know why I'm not that bad, but these goats are honestly really crazy. So the goats are done. We just one goat left. And now my sweet chickens. Come on, you chickens. Give me eggs. I really need eggs. All the shard on eggs. So hopefully my chickens are not going to die of hunger because I'm going to feed them. So there we go. My animals are done almost. Yep, that's it. Just going to put more feed. Oh, I don't have enough corn. That's crazy. Um, That's 40 seconds. So let's get some corn from the paper. We're getting 10 for 20 and ooh, I'm just going to get all that. So there we go. I'm lucky. Yep, let's get back to my farm. This person needs help. It's a boat help. Mm, probably not going to do that. I only got for juice, which I'm going to save for myself. All right, so my wheat and corn are ready. Just going to harvest that. There we go. Just got another bolt. I really don't know why I'm getting bolts. I need planks. I always get the weird stuff that I don't need. So I think that's a mystery box. Yep, just got two pickaxes. There we go. And I'm just going to plant more uh, wheat. So let's just plant all the wheat. There we go. All right. Yep, all the fields are planted. And so I just need one more crate to be built. All right, guys, coming back to the main topic of this video, the diamonds, how to spend them, what are they and what do they do? So first of all, a little background information that diamonds are a kind of currencies in the game that are so important. So there are a lot of ways you can actually get diamonds in the game, but you can also purchase them in the game. Now, the fact here is that I never purchased a single diamond in the game until I was level 140. And that's a fact. Probably a lot of people are not going to believe me, but I'm 100% true. I'm not lying. The whole progress that you see I have done in the game all the slots are open, so many things are like upgraded. This is all I have done by playing the game regularly, by doing all the chores on my farm. I play daily, I play regularly, and I just got all the stuff for free. So basically, I never spent a single penny on the game until like four to five years. So back in December, I just purchased a few diamonds, and then sometimes now I buy diamonds when they come with special decorations. But you don't really have to buy them, as I always it's very optional. So there's so many ways already in the game that you can get free diamonds if you pair regularly. I have made a video on that. You guys can also check that out. There will be so many ways you can get diamonds. Now the main question is where to spend your diamonds? Because this is probably, I think, one of the most burning questions in every person's mind, especially if you're a low-level player. Diamonds you should spend very, very wisely. So in this video, I'm just going to be sharing my ways, how I spend diamonds, how I played when I was a low-level player. And please remember... 
that what I say is never final. At the end of the day, it's totally your choice. It depends on how you play, what is your playing style. Of course, everybody in this game has different playing styles. For example, some people like to play fast, like I do. Some people like to play very slow, which I don't like, no offense. And then some people play this game whenever they have time, just like once in a month. And some people are addicted to this game like I am. So what I say is never ever final. But still, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my own ways of spending diamonds, which I think are probably worth it. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to send these visitors away. All right, there we go. Now, make sure you spend diamonds in the game on those things that give you permanent benefit. Do not spend diamonds, if you're a low level player, do not spend your diamonds on decorations. I repeat, never. I know it's kind of frustrating when you cannot buy the decorations, which are really cool, but trust me, this game is like a business. You have to um, move ahead every step. You have to choose very wisely. So make sure you do not spend your diamonds on the decorations if you're a low level player. Also, never try to you spend your diamonds on Maggie. She is a thief. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to offense, but she will take away a lot of your diamonds, a lot of your coins, vouchers. So Maggie, a big note to Maggie, forget Maggie for a little bit. Don't even think about her. Just think that she doesn't exist here. She is made for high-level players. So if you're a low-level player, I never recommend you to spend your diamonds on the Maggie. So now I'm going to come to the ways that where to spend your diamonds and what are the best ways to spend the diamonds in the game. So, the first way I like to spend my diamonds, my whole life I've been spending diamonds in Haiti, are the machines. This is probably the best way you can spend your diamonds are. Open the machine slots, try to open all of them, but start with three main things, three main machines, which are your sugar mill, second is your dairy, and the third is probably your sauce maker. I think these three machines are probably the most important machines in the game. So try your best to open all the slots of these machines. Now, some people like to save diamonds, but honestly, I was never that kind of person who liked to save diamonds. My main focus has always been to spend diamonds on good things. I have never tried to save diamonds because I think it's, it's a waste. Like, why spend diamonds? There's no benefit in saving diamonds. Spend them. Spend them wisely. Because if you start saving the diamonds on low level, then you will get a habit of saving them on high levels. And that's not a good thing. I've seen so many people that are like over level 100 and still they have only three to four slots in every machine, which really annoys me. And I just don't like that, but that's just my opinion, as I said. All right, so my boy is still not on. So start with all your machines, but main focus should be the machines that are important. Sugar mill is very important as it makes the raw ingredients that you're going to use to make other items from. Um, dairy is also a raw material machine. For example, you're going to need a lot of cheese and different items. And sauce maker is also one of those machines in the game that you're going to need to make different items. For example, olive oil, sauce maker, these things are really important. And what are the benefits of opening the slots? There's so many benefits. For example, the one thing is that you can easily fully master your machines and your machines will be running for a longer time so even if you're not playing for like one to two days you can put all the soy sauce like you guys can see i am so that's approximately nine soy sauce and that's probably going to take i think um 24 days so probably just for a whole day this machine is going to get running and i don't have to care about um it, it's gonna get the mastery start quickly and i can get nine soy sauce when i come back into the game and imagine if you don't have a lot of slots open, then you can only get like two to three. So that's not a good thing. So make sure you spend your diamonds on your machines, but start with the machines that are important. For example, the machines that are not important, I would say do not spend your diamonds on your uh, jeweler because that's probably not that important. So here's a jeweler, as you guys can see, I only have about six slots and I don't really need to open any more. Plus, I don't really make a lot of jewelry items. I tend to keep five, so that's not an issue. And the machines, machines like, um, the fungi pod, that's not important too. Uh, the jam maker, that's not important either. So the machines that are important, as I said, are the sugar mill, the dairy, the sauce maker. Then you can start your bakery. This will also give you a lot of benefits. For example, corn bread and bread are important. Then you can start doing all other machines. So the first tip is that spend your diamonds on opening the slots of the machines. Start from the machines that are important and gradually go towards the machines that are less important. So this is, this is like, I think, probably the be only best way to spend diamonds in Haiti. All right, now I'm going to come to the second way of spending the diamonds in the game. This is also very important and it's kind of similar. It's basically in your 
fishing gear and on a machine called as the net maker. Now, why I'm saying this now, uh, the disclaimer that this machine is going to cost you way more diamonds than your farm machines. For example, you guys can see I need to spend, oh my god, 90 diamonds to open the sixth slot, and then it's going to get increased to like I think 150, then over 300. So that's a lot of diamonds, but make sure you have at least five diamonds of both your net maker and your uh, lower workbench because these machines are really important. For example, you're going to be able to make a lot of lobster traps, the duck traps. You're going to use these to catch lobsters and ducks, which you can get duck feathers, lobster tails, and these products, you can make a lot of important products in the game, which you can either, you know, get a lot of XP from or you can just sell them to make coins. So I think this is also an important way. If you have a lot of diamonds, then make sure you spend your diamonds on Netmaker. But for me, right now, I personally do not have a lot of diamonds. I've only got 150. So right now, I'm not in the mood of spending diamonds on this machine. But I'm not saying that you should not spend diamonds. Do spend diamonds on this machine. This is also a very important machine. You can make a lot of the lobster traps and the duck traps. And this way, you can every six hours and every two hours, you can have more duck feathers and lobster trails. Lobster tails. So I think it's important as well. Alright, so now I'm going to come towards the third way of spending diamonds in the game, which is spend diamonds on opening the machines, um, the shop slots, the shop boxes. Now, probably some people are not going to do this, but this is how I, I've done. Another way to get the shop boxes is basically by adding friends on the Facebook that play Haiti. So, for example, you guys can see I need 180 new Facebook friends to unlock this slot, but I'm not going to do that, of course. So what you can do, you can spend your diamonds here to open your shop box, which I'm going to do right now. So I basically love to spend diamonds on shop boxes. And the Umituiku, I think um, he was like the first person to reach level 500. He had way too many slots on his machine. So basically, what are the benefits of opening the machine's box, uh, the shop boxes, is that you can get rid of items faster. Um, for example, like you guys can see here, I'm doing wheat right now and my salary is going to get full. So what I can do, I can sell more wheat in less time. This way I can get a lot of space in my silo. Plus, I think more slots can give you more coins. For example, you can just keep selling a lot of items like you guys can see. I'm just going to put like as many wheat as I can. I don't have to worry about the slots. I don't have to worry about it or not so in this way i think it's really really helpful you can get rid of the barn space and items really fast if you have a lot of slots so this is how i spend diamonds and i think it's totally worth it rather than spending your diamonds on the decorations and stuff like that so yeah i think it's really it's really cool but as i earlier said at the end of the day it's your choice if you're gonna spend that that's okay if you're not but that's okay too all right, guys, and now coming to the next ways of spending diamonds, which are going to be the less useful, but the most useful I have already described are your machines, your fishing area, and your shop boxes. Tom. Now, Tom could be very helpful in so many ways. I have explained every benefit that you can get from Tom in my Tom Tips and Tricks video, so make sure you guys also check that out. So, yeah, Tom is totally worth it. Even if you're a low-level player, he can give you so many benefits. For example, you can get a lot of sauce nexus from Tom. You can get so many products, um, blankets, diamond rings, and that you can sell them to make um, even more money. You can get a lot of mine tools, um, pickaxes from Tom, and then you can explore them to even more diamonds. So I think hiring Tom is totally worth it. I personally never hire him by the diamonds. Like, if I actually need him so badly, like I'm doing a lot of trucks, then I can always hire him. He's totally worth it. Although it's kind of expensive, like it's one day for 15 diamonds. You can use him like 12 times because he already takes two hours break. So this is also a good way. But for the moment, I have a booster, so I don't have to worry about it. But spending diamonds on Tom is not a waste. It's totally worth it. And I do recommend doing this. Now, the next way that I like to spend my diamonds, it's very optional. And I know a lot of people are not going to like this. Um, it's basically on the farm helpers. So probably this is the least useful way. Because you can, a lot of the times you can get them for free, as you guys can see, right now I'm getting rolls for free. So basically she comes um, for three days by spending 15 diamonds and she can give you so many benefits. For example, she will keep collecting your milk and bacon. Now I personally, I'm all the short of the milk and the bacon, as you guys can see, I, I never have enough. So for me, Rose is totally a luck point. I can just hire her and... I don't have to worry about the milk and the bacon and then I can also feed... Pets. I can make a lot of dairy. I can make a lot of other products in the game. Um, and Ernest, I basically never hire because I 
I really don't need Ernest. Like, the only problem that I suffer is basically shortage of milk and bacon, which Rose is very helpful for. But Ernest only runs your dairy and sugar mill. But I think, I feel like I can run the dairy and sugar mill on my own. The only thing that I need is milk, which I never get. So for me, Rose is a big yes. I do spend my diamonds and I think it's totally worth it. But as I said, it's going to be not that favorite for all the people so probably you're not gonna spend diamonds or rose but it's a good way it's not a bad way now those are all the methods that i think are the best ones to spend your diamonds the game other than that there's so many other ways to spend diamonds for example diamonds can help you to speed up things um as you guys can see if i have to make like if i'm making a pumpkin soup and i really need that immediately for example my boat is leaving for example i have to complete the derby task and the time is running then you can uh, spend diamonds on the machines on to speed up your boat coming to speed up your products but other than that do not spend your diamonds on these kind of things because this is a waste there's no benefit you can simply wait for like one hour and 41 minutes rather than spending your five diamonds which i think are very rare you do not easily get them so you have to choose them wisely Another way you can spend your diamonds is basically also very optional. It's, in my opinion, it's not a good way because I don't do that that often. That is spending diamonds in the derby to get a lot of expansion permits. Now, some people do this a lot and they can actually get a lot of expansion permits. But if you're a level player, you do not have a lot of diamonds in the game. I recommend you to not spend your diamonds in the derby. This will be a waste for you because land is something that you should not be worried of. The main thing in the game is always your machines, your barn and silo. So those are the things that you should be focusing on if you're a low-level player. Do not focus on Maggie. Do not focus a lot on the expansion permits. You will get them when you become a high-level player. So the main things in this game are all this should be your machines. I'm repeating spend diamonds on your machines. This is the best and the best and the most, most good way to spend your diamonds in the game. So you can see I'm on my level 53 farm and I have 37 diamonds here and I've already expended all the slots on the sugar mill and I'm going to see the dairy if I have expended all the slots. Yep, you guys can see I've also expended the dairy and the sugar mill. So these are two main, a very important machine that you should always be focusing on. Now, basically on my baby farm, I don't use any of the machines a lot. So I don't really have to spend diamonds here. So let's go to another farm. So on my level 40 farm, I have 41 diamonds and I'm going to be spending them to open the machine slots on my sugar mill. So there we go, my 15 diamonds. And let's have a look at the dairy. So where's my dairy? Oh, we're just going to pop the balloon. All right, so yeah, there's my dairy and that's 21 diamonds for the eighth slot. That's not a problem. There we go. And I have now five diamonds. So what I've been doing since I was a low-level player, my main focus has always been spending diamonds. I was never that kind of person who saved diamonds. I never had more than 80, 60, or 70 diamonds, even once in my life when I was a low-level player. Because I always used to spend them. Whenever I got diamonds, I would spend them on my sugar mill, I would spend them on dairy, I would spend them on other machines. And now I'm getting a lot of benefits from this. So this is what you should be doing. Do not save them. You know what, at the end of the day, it's your choice, but I'm just recommending, I'm just giving you guys tips. So my tip is that do not really save diamonds. There's no benefit of saving the diamonds. Spend them and spend them on your machines and on your Tom, on your shop boxes, if you want to, then which again, I think is probably an option, but this is what I do. So that was it for this video. Actually, there's so many ways in the game you can spend diamonds, literally everything in the game you can do with the diamonds. But the main and the best ways to spend diamonds are those that I have told you guys in this video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you made any mistakes, please let me know in the comments. I love to get the feedback. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.